Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to take advantage of the of the print then cut feature in Cricut. Um, this works if you have a braille embosser at home um, and as long as your braille embosser registers as a printer on your computer. So you want to go ahead and link that up to your Cricut. So I just did a random search for Easter items um, and found an Easter basket and two Easter eggs and an Easter bunny. Now keep in mind, since we are running this through um, a braille, you know, braille printer and not a regular um, traditional printer, um, you want to keep the images as basic and simple as possible. And the reason why is because, you know, the Cricut can't really determine um, if it's a an inkjet printer or a brailing printer or whatever. And so what happens is the different colors, the different thickness, um, it will, it will sh actually print in different heights on the brailler. And sometimes if it's supposed to be lightly shaded, the braille dots are actually really um, low. And so it doesn't really offer very good um, tactile feedback. So I went ahead and these were actually all originally cuts, but I went ahead and changed it to print then cut. So I'm going to go ahead and make it. And the line that you see around the pictures, that's Cricut's way of knowing like, hey, this is the space that I'm going to be cutting it in. It scans and reads that line. And so that way it knows exactly where to cut. Um, I'm not going to cut this. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel the job um, prior to it cutting it. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do print. So I'm going to go ahead and do continue. And like I said, this is, you know, you want this to be linked to your printer. Um, you want to take the bleed away because the bleed, it makes it really, really hazy and it's not, it does not look good. So for the printer, you want to drop down and choose, I have an Irie AT Braille Buddy. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that as my printer and I already have my printer hooked up and I'm going to go ahead and print and show you guys what it looks like afterwards. All right. So this is what the end product looks like. You'll notice that all of the dots are the same height. And the reason why is because we choose the images that were all the same color and they're all pretty basic simple images once you start downloading images that are multiple colors different um, shading then you'll notice that the dots are of different height and you know like i said the simpler the image the better it looks i use this method to make coloring books for my son to do artwork with him etc um, he likes it and keep in mind that, you know, I did make mine small because I just want to do something really quick to show you, but you could make the image as small or as big as possible. Um, if this image was actually bigger, it'd probably look a lot better, um, but because it's so small, everything is kind of tight fitting on my piece of paper. But yeah, you guys can definitely, you know, play around with the sizes, the images, see what you guys like. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you.